best, you have to be able to play with the best, compete with the best. This is the tournament where you see the future stars. I just do not miss very many fairways. I feel like I have a target on my back because I'm the returning champion. We have all Americans all through the field. This is where they come together to play head-to-head. -to -head. You really have to bring your game to come and win a tournament like this. Whether or not they will win the Masters or challenge in the U.S. Open remains to be seen, but they have the ability. This is just something special. You're going to see today, up close and personal, the guys that will be on television for years to come. You'll see, you'll feel that atmosphere of what it means to be part of the Patriot All-American. The Patriot All-America is a collection of the best collegiate golfers playing together in one championship over 54 holes on a really difficult golf course. The unique thing about this tournament is that there are All-American players from every level, D1, D2, NAIA, JUCO. At one point in time this past year, three of the top five ranked golfers in the world were alumni of this event. 84 of the top amateur golfers in the world fly into Phoenix and stay at the Wigwam for five days. We start with an incredible opening ceremonies with helicopters and parachuting and flyovers. And then secondly, the trip to Luke Air Force Base where our golfers have a chance to really get behind the scenes in terms of our military. And then thirdly, three great days of competition. Yeah. Patriot All-America is the bowl game of college golf. The idea is to provide an opportunity for the top collegiate golfers around the world to come and experience a bowl level atmosphere for a golf tournament. It's an opportunity for these young men to hone their skills in a competitive environment that is preparing them for their future. It filled a huge gap in amateur and collegiate golf, especially this time of year. A lot of tournaments come to us as Thunderbird and say, hey, will you, will you back us or help us? The rate of success is about one in 10. Well, this is a home run. Honoring Army Sergeant First Class Michael G. Owen, and I'm honored to have his father standing next to me right here from Arizona State University, Mason Anderson. There's no other tournament like this. Where else can you combine great golf while honoring some of our fallen military service members? They are not just playing for themselves. They're playing for a fallen soldier who has sacrificed himself for the betterment of our country. We knew it would be special carrying a name on a bag. We didn't realize how impactful that could be. morning when I wake up you know there's a different feeling this week about who you're playing for and what you're doing here you know you take you take a little more time when you get up thinking about things and why you're really here and you know the purpose of having that name on your bag over there and what you're playing for it's truly changed the way that I definitely look at the game of golf in the aspect of you know when you hit a bad shot it's not the end of the world. It's just, it was a bad golf shot. Chris O'Neill from the University of Michigan. This is the Patriot. I'm honored to be here, and I'm gonna go play my best for more than myself.
Truthfully, it's been a special event for me. Every year I come out here, it's always been a lot of fun. There's just a special aura around this tournament. I think this field is definitely one of the better ones that we play because the criteria for getting into the tournament is, is pretty high. You, know, you have to be an All-American in your respective division. It's a very good field and it's good for your ranking. 84 players from different colleges, different divisions mean there's a lot of good players out here and you really have to bring your game to come and win a tournament like this. It's great to see how Division Two and Division Three players stack up against Division One, and, and we get to see that at the Patriots. It's a top field. It's the best of the best. I mean, if you can play well here, it's, it's, it means a lot. I mean, people are watching this tournament, and it's a marquee event for sure. Big sports weekend all over the Valley, and of some of the best golfers in America, nearly 90 amateur collegiate players are taking part in the Patriots All-America. Each golfer in the Patriot is representing a member of the military in his field in action. What a great idea. The electricity that surrounds this event is like nothing I've ever seen in an amateur golf event. You feel like you're inside the ropes with the players. In many ways, it's like a mini waste management Phoenix Open. There's a lot of people filling our hospitality tents that include the corral tent, the salute to service elevated skybox, the skybox behind 18 green, and the skybox at 16 having a great time watching some of the best golfers and future champions. The kids that are playing college golf, they are the future. At the Patriot, there's going to be five or six guys that you're going to see their names on the PGA Tour. In five years from now, I really hope that I'm on the PGA Tour with a card and playing in every tournament, playing the majors and doing really well. Yeah, I'd love to play professional golf on European Tour. That's obviously the dream. It's kind of cool to know that I have a shot at being one of the best in the world. I would really love to play on the PGA Tour eventually. Being that much closer to it makes me want to work that much harder because now it's in reach and it could be reality. You know, one of the things I really love about the tournament is when you consider the finishes we've had in the past, it brings that much more excitement to the entire deal. It's a good feeling to win this big tournament. Probably the biggest of my career, so it's a good feeling. I had a two-shot lead through 16 where I just made the birdie, so I figured if I could, you know, par par, get it in. And uh, I kind of struggled on 17 a little bit, made bogey there. 17's a tough hole. It's a narrow fairway. It's kind of awkward in terms of the way it turns uh, from the tee. You've got to hit it over a, over a tree. He had hit his drive left. There wasn't a whole lot I knew over there that, that's all that good. Pulls his drive left, almost puts it in the hazard. He's got a tree right next to him, a branch hanging out over him, a tree in front of him. So he hits a little wedge under the first limb, over the second tree, hooks it onto the green, and puts it about 10 feet from the hole. Nice shot, man. Probably wraps up the tournament. Phenomenal shot. Another great finish for the Patriot All-America. Please help us congratulate Braden. The Wigwam is just beautiful. It's a first class facility. The golf course is in just phenomenal shape. If you haven't been to Phoenix, you probably think that the Wigwam is a desert golf course, but it's really not. It's more of like an inland type golf course. This is not a desert golf course. It's more traditional. A little more trees, a little less desert. I've played in it the last two years, um, and I know they've made some changes. Tom Lehman came in and made some course design adjustments. I think it's made it harder. The course, for the most part, I think the main defense is the greens. When you get up around the greens, it's, it's a beast. And um, if you hit it in the wrong spot, it's not, it's not very fun. You can hit one bad shot, and you could walk off with a double or triple bogey here. It's just it's very penalizing, I find, compared to back home. You really have to have a solid ball strike and we can make a lot of putts to play good out here. It's set up very difficult, which is most like tour events. We're excited this year to have the winner of the Patriots. It's going to get an exemption at the Web.com tour event in Wichita, Kansas. As a returning champ, I got an invite into the Web.com event last year in June in Wichita. And that was a cool experience for me because it was my first professional event. It was definitely a little different. Definitely was a little nervous on that first tee. Even though we're such a young event, we've had so many Patriot alumni who are already making their mark on the professional tours. You have guys like Brooks Kepka, who's played in the Ryder Cup, and he's won on both the European and the PGA Tours. Justin Thomas won the CMB Classic twice. Daniel Berger's won on tour. You have other up-and-comers, guys like Patrick Rogers and Bryson DeChambeau, who are really starting to make their mark. And I think you'll see that more and more as the years go on. You got the best junior golfers in the world. They're playing that event, and obviously a bunch of them will turn pro and have aspirations of being out here, but good luck to them. I mean, it's fun. I hope everybody gets to experience this because this is neat. 
The funny thing about the PGA Tour is by the time players get there, the raw talent that exists here is honed a little bit, but it's also reined in a little bit. And then you watch a college golfer and you're like, wow, they are a lot better. They have so much more talent than I would have ever guessed. The most amazing thing about college golfers is how far they hit the ball. You just cannot believe it. If you want to watch the next Jordan Spieth, Ricky Fowler, Adam Scott, Phil, whoever it is, you may as well start and watch them in the collegiate level because that's how they get their start. Hi, I'm Patrick Mills from Oglethorpe University and I'm going to show you a trick shot called the snowman. Patriot is the uh, byproduct of a conversation that uh, Ed Gowan and I had back in 2008. Well, initially, we were looking at Arizona Golf to create some kind of a championship over the holiday season. It'd have to be something really special. The problem, you gotta, you gotta have a hook. And Greg said, well, we have a relationship with Folds of Honor, and I think they'd be really interested. Major Dan Rooney, who is a founder of something called the Folds of Honor. It's a military charity that supports the families of fallen or severely injured soldiers. I said, Dan, what if we could invite top college players and raise money for the charity? And I said, what if we got red, white, and blue golf bags made by Ping and put the names of fallen soldiers on the bags so that college players were actually doing something different. They weren't playing for their university. They were playing for something bigger. The name on my bag is Christopher Scherer. He was a corporal in the United States Marine Corps. We we're good buddies and we were stationed together for a while. He, uh, he was a great friend. He was a jokester. He always liked to have a good time. After I'd gotten out of the Marines, he went and did a tour in Iraq and uh, he was killed on July 21st, 2007. And I saw this tournament and that I was on the invitation list online and contacted Dustin Roberts, asked if I could honor Christopher in the tournament. Uh, he said he'd put the name on the bag. Not only are you honoring the person on your golf bag, but then you know those golf bags are gonna be auctioned off and that the proceeds of those are gonna go to the Folds of Honor Foundation. So they're really able to help the families of those military members who've been killed in action. It's a great experience. It's not many times that you can be a part of a sport, honor your friend at the same time, and do it on such a large level this tournament takes care of it. The connection that these players make with the names on their bags and the families behind those names and the soldiers that sacrificed for us, we realized very early on that that's what this event was about. It's an honor to play in an event like this and being able to represent soldiers that have given their life for this country and it is pretty special. That adds a little bit of pressure that these kids have to play with knowing that they're playing for something a lot bigger than just themselves. This is my fourth year playing the Patriot and every year they've upped the wow factor. Not just the golf, but also when we visit the Air Force Base. At first glance, from the outside, people would say this is a golf tournament, and you've brought these world-class golfers together. But you ask them, what's the most compelling part of this event? It's the opportunity to meet the military and learn more about the military. The uh, Air Force Base over there, that was a really neat experience. It's an opportunity for them to learn a little bit about the sacrifices that men and women in uniform do each and every day which gives them the ability to go and play golf. We're fortunate to have Luke Air Force Base just a couple miles away. And for the first time in most of their lives, they go through the gates of a U.S. military installation. And what they see there are things that most people in the world never get to see. From a foot away, they get to see an F-16. They get to see the new F-35. 
So today was a fantastic opportunity for us to open up our gates and bring these elite athletes onto the base to see the elite athletes that are defending the nation today. We got to go in the flight simulator as well, so that was, that was cool, yeah. It's like a real life experience, you're sitting in the, in the cockpit. We were actually fighting one on one, so uh, it, was it was nice to get a, to shoot, no. to, to shoot him <laughs> down, so it was. He thinks he shot me down. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was brilliant, yeah. Uh, there's so many like buttons and um, switches, and oh, I don't know how them people fly them planes, but I thought it was unbelievable, really enjoyed it. For me personally, I've always lived by an Air Force base, but I've never really been and seen the works inside. And so being able to go around and meet the people and see what they do on a day-to-day -day basis to help protect our country really was eye-opening to me. They split us up into groups and then we went up uh, an elevator to the top of the control tower. So my group had two amazing airmen with them, but we also actually had the base general with us. They were not shy to answer any questions. I mean, they were sharing so many stories we uh, watched F-16s and F-35s taxi out to the runway and take off. So, I mean, it's kind of a once in a lifetime experience. That's pretty cool to see and come up here. I've never seen anything like this. So definitely a memory I'll have for a while. We had a chance to watch the uh, attack dogs. And let's get started. It's a cool event. They showed us how they would train dogs and what they would do. And they showed us some German Shepherds and Czech Shepherds and they showed how they go through obstacle courses, and then they also showed how the dogs attack people. You know, the dogs like smiling and happy-go-lucky one time, and then the next instant they're like trying to jump over the car. They go on and off just like that, based on commands, and it's awesome. That's what this tournament's about. It's an opportunity that they've never had before, they may never have again, but it'll stick with them for their life. When you bring the best college golfers in the world together on one course, you expect fireworks. When you get the opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one and get to the finish line, and so often, it happens on the last day, on the last hole, with the last shot. It brings that much more excitement to the entire deal. In all my years, I've never seen a playoff like this. Six holes, matching shot for shot, a playoff like no other. Kyle Westmoreland out of Air Force Academy takes down Tony Akula from Texas University in a six hole sudden death slugfest. Cameron Champ is your 2016 Patriot All-America Champion. This past year was uh, yet another great finish. I didn't even know what I was at. Going into 18, I mean, I kind of knew that I was close to the lead, but I didn't know that I was in sole lead by three shots. Walk me through your shot. Well, I was just don't hit it left off the tee. <laughs> So I aimed way right, still hit a cut, ended up being perfect middle of the fairway. Had, a, I think it was 134 to the flag. Kind of blocked my wedge shot. I just knew I needed to lag it up to the hole, just in, in sure par. The speed was perfect and, you know, just tapped it in for an easy par to win. Yeah. You know, being able to represent fallen soldiers or injured soldiers, um, that's just something that, you know, you don't see a lot. You see all this patriotic stuff going on, it's just unreal. And it makes it even better that I'm representing my great-grandfather on the bag this week. Um, he died when my grandmother was about three in World War II. And when we showed her what we were going to be representing, you know, she just lost it. So it's, it's awesome. It's awesome to be able to represent him. I'm Isaiah Jackson from the University of Memphis, representing Willie Burleson McGill on the bag, my great-grandfather. And I'm the Patriot All-America Champion. When you consider the finishes we've had in the past, what's next? The future of this event is only positive. Every year it continues to grow and get bigger and better. This is the tournament where you see the future stars. This is where they come together to play head to head. This is something that's gonna to continue to grow and it's gonna become kind of a, a hallmark amateur event that's broadcast over the holidays. We want it to be recognized as one of the finest tournaments of its kind 
in the world. I hope that we continue to attract the best college players out here and that we become a top five or top 10 amateur event in the entire world. This has become the place to be for this golf tournament and the Patriot All-American has been the place to be during the holiday season to witness great golf and have a great time. It's amazing and it's a testament to the golf coaches in the AGA, what they've taken this event to in the last six years. And yeah, going forward with the Mavericks involved, I just continue to see this getting bigger and better. Every year the field gets a little bit better. The people that come out and watch are, the next time they're gonna watch some of these players, they're gonna be paying $100 a head or more to go watch them at the Phoenix Open or in the US Open or the British Open. Uh, these, these are, there's some great players here. Five years from now, we could be playing against each other on Ryder Cup teams or as partners on Ryder Cup teams or, you know, walking down back nine at Augusta. You know, that's kind of a cool thing to think about. They're never going to have an issue filling the field. And you're going to see the field continue to get stronger and stronger and stronger because the demand is going to become so high that you're going to have to be a top 100 ranked player in the country for sure to be able to have an opportunity to play in this event. If you are an All-American you have the opportunity to come to the Patriot, I would cancel any trip, anything right after Christmas and come and play in this tournament because the golf course, the people that host it, it's one of the best things out there. If you want to come out and see all of the privileges of living in this country represented, well, they're right here on the driving range. You know, that's the larger part of what, what, what we miss, I think, in sport. Yeah, we, we're concerned about how low you shoot or how fast you run, but here, these kids are they're still at an age where they're impressionable. They are. And to see these kids and to see the future, not only of professional golf, but of the United States, to see in the best that this country has to offer, um, that's what you're missing. What other people are dealing with, are, my problems seem pretty small. And I think, I think that's the perspective that I could pass on and help others you know, try to understand, is that there are things that are being done out there that we're not seeing and maybe not appreciating as much as we could. I think they leave with a greater appreciation for not just the military and the sacrifices of the men and women that they're carrying bags for, but um, just a greater appreciation for what this country is all about. I'm proud to be a patriot. I'm proud to be a patriot. And I'm proud to be a patriot. 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 Why did you say that in an American voice? Did I? Yeah, you did, yeah. yeah. <laughs>